Imagine waking up one morning and realizing that you can't remember what day it is, or walking into a room and forgetting why you went there. Maybe you notice your hands trembling without explanation, or you find yourself feeling dizzy and unsteady, as if the ground is shifting beneath your feet. You tell yourself it's just age catching up with you, maybe you didn't sleep well, or you're just stressed. But what if it's not that simple? What if these changes are warning signs that something far more dangerous is happening deep inside your body? Something that could silently strip away your ability to think clearly, move freely, and live independently? That something is Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease most people barely know about, often dismissed as just dry eyes and dry mouth. But that's only the surface. In reality, this condition can launch a hidden assault on your brain and nervous system, and if you don't catch it early, the damage can be permanent. This isn't fear for the sake of fear. This is irgi, um, gisei sidek girthiars. This is urgency, because the sooner you understand the danger, the sooner you can take steps to protect yourself. Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune condition, which means your immune system, the body's natural defense system against infections, mistakenly attacks your own healthy tissues. In many people, the first and most visible targets are the glands that produce tears and saliva leading to the dryness symptoms the disease is most known for. But in others, the attack doesn't stop there. The immune system can also infiltrate and damage nerve tissue, spinal cord pathways, and even brain cells, triggering inflammation that disrupts communication between your brain and the rest of your body. This is called neurological involvement, and it is far more common than most people realize. The scariest part is that these neurological changes often develop quietly, without causing dramatic symptoms at first. They can creep in slowly, blending into everyday forgetfulness, occasional clumsiness, or fatigue, making them easy to overlook until the damage is already advanced. When Sjogren's targets the nervous system, it can cause a wide range of problems. If it affects the brain, it may lead to cognitive decline, the kind of slow, subtle mental changes that many people mistake for normal aging. You might find it harder to concentrate, may become unreliable, and even simple tasks may take longer because your brain is processing information more slowly. In more serious cases, Sjogren's can cause brain inflammation or lesions that mimic conditions like multiple sclerosis, leading to vision problems, muscle weakness, or trouble with balance. If it affects the peripheral nervous system, the network of nerves outside the brain and spinal cord, you may experience burning sensations, tingling numbness, or shooting pains in your hands and feet, a condition called neuropathy. And if it reaches the autonomic nervous system, the part that controls involuntary actions like heart rate, blood pressure, and digestion, you might face dizziness when standing up rapid heartbeat or sudden drops in blood pressure. The reason this damage is so serious is because once nerve cells die, they do not regenerate. While some symptoms can improve with treatment, irreversible nerve loss means permanent deficits. The inflammation caused by the autoimmune attack can strip away the myelin. The protective and I east e around each your nerves, much like removing insulation from an electrical wire. Without that insulation, nerve signals slow down or fail to reach their destination entirely, leading to weakness, coordination problems, and sensory loss. In the brain, inflammation can interfere with the connections between neurons, disrupting thought processes, emotional regulation, and memory. The longer this continues unchecked, the harder it becomes to reverse. That's why recognizing the warning signs and acting quickly is critical. So what are these warning signs? If you have Sjogren's, or even if you don't, but have unexplained neurological symptoms, it's really important to pay close attention to changes like persistent brain fog that doesn't improve with rest, sudden or worsening memory problems, difficulty walking or frequent loss of balance, unexplained tingling or burning sensations in your extremities, new vision changes, sudden dizziness, or mood shifts that just feel uncharacteristic for you. Having one of these symptoms doesn't automatically mean Sjogren's is attacking your nervous system, but experiencing two or more, especially if you already have autoimmune issues, should be a red flag that you need to speak with your doctor. Unfortunately, many people with neurological Sjogren's are misdiagnosed or dismissed at first. Symptoms like brain fog and fatigue are often attributed to stress, aging, or even depression. Neuropathy may be blamed on diabetes or poor circulation, and dizziness might be labeled as vertigo 
without further investigation. The truth is, unless your doctor is looking specifically for Sjogren's neurological complications, these issues can be missed entirely. This is why being informed and proactive is so important. You are your own best advocate. If you notice changes, it's important to document them and insist on a thorough evaluation. You should ask about neurological testing, including MRIs, to check for brain or spinal cord lesions nerve conduction studies to measure how well your nerves are functioning, and blood tests for Jogren's related antibodies like SSA and SSB. It's also important to know that not all patients with neurological involvement test positive for these antibodies, so a negative result doesn't rule it out. Understanding how the disease operates gives you more control. Sjogren's neurological damage happens because the immune system mistakenly treats nerve tissues as if they are dangerous invaders. This triggers inflammation that not only disrupts normal function, but also physically damages the nerves. Over time, this damage can spread, affecting more parts of the nervous system. But here's the hopeful part. While we can't cure Sjogren's yet, we can slow its progression, protect nerve health, and in some cases even restore function if we act early enough. The key is reducing inflammation, supporting nerve repair, and maintaining overall brain health. The first step is nutrition. Every bite you take is either helping or hurting your nervous system. An anti-inflammatory diet can lower the immune attack and provide the raw materials your body needs to protect nerves. Focus on foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids such as salmon, mackerel, walnuts, and flax seeds because omega-3s help maintain nerve cell membranes and reduce inflammation. Add plenty of leafy greens like spinach, kale, and collards for vitamins that support nerve repair. Colorful fruits like blueberries, cherries, and oranges are packed with antioxidants that fight oxidative stress, which can damage brain and nerve cells. Avoid processed foods, fried snacks, refined sugars, and excessive alcohol as they fuel inflammation and can worsen autoimmune symptoms. Hydration is another key factor. Because Sjogren's causes dryness, dehydration is a constant risk, and dehydration can worsen neurological symptoms. Aim for steady hydration throughout the day, not just large amounts of water at once. Incorporate water-rich foods like cucumber, celery, watermelon, and citrus fruits. Herbal teas and clear broths can also keep you hydrated while providing additional nutrients. Movement is equally important. Exercise increases blood flow to the brain and nerves, delivering oxygen and nutrients while helping to flush out toxins. Gentle activities like walking, swimming, or Tai Chi are excellent for maintaining circulation without overstraining the body. For those with balance issues, chair exercises or working with a physical therapist can keep you active while reducing the risk of falls. The more you move, the more you stimulate your nervous system to keep functioning at its best. Supplements can also be helpful, but they should be chosen carefully and ideally under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Vitamin B12 is essential for myelin production, and deficiencies are common in autoimmune conditions. Omega-3 fish oil can further support nerve health. Vitamin D3 helps regulate immune activity, and magnesium can calm overactive nerve firing, reducing symptoms like muscle twitching or cramps. In some cases, antioxidants like alpha-lipoic acid or COQ10 may provide extra protection for nerve cells. Stress management is the final pillar of protection. Chronic stress raises cortisol levels, which in turn can aggravate autoimmune inflammation. Incorporating daily stress relief techniques like meditation, deep breathing, or gentle yoga can help keep your immune system in a calmer, more balanced state. Even something as simple as spending 10 minutes outside in fresh air can lower stress hormones and give your body a break from constant tension. So, the bottom line is this. Neurological damage from Sjogren's doesn't happen overnight. It's actually the result of a slow, silent progression that often goes unnoticed until it's pretty advanced. But with the right awareness and action, you can protect your brain and nervous system, slow down damage, and in some cases, even see improvement. Now that you know how Sjogren's syndrome can quietly infiltrate your brain and nervous system, it's time to look deeper at the different ways it attacks. Understanding these patterns of damage is critical because each one can cause different symptoms, progress at a different speed, and require slightly different strategies to manage. The more you know about these pathways, the better you can identify what's happening in your own body and act before permanent damage sets in. 
One of the most common forms of neurological damage in Sjogren's is peripheral neuropathy. This happens when the immune system attacks the large nerve fibers outside the brain and spinal cord. These are the nerves that carry information about touch, movement, and position from your limbs to your brain. When they're damaged, you might start with tingling, numbness, or that classic pins and needles feeling in your hands or feet. Over time, this can progress to burning pain, muscle weakness, or even clumsiness. Everyday tasks like buttoning a shirt, picking up a cup, or just walking across the room may suddenly feel awkward or, honestly, even a bit dangerous. Another type is small fiber neuropathy, which affects the tiniest nerve endings that sense temperature and pain. This type of damage can cause strange, sometimes alarming sensations, stabbing pains that appear and vanish without reason, skin that feels sunburned when it's not, or completely numb patches with no sensitivity at all. Small fiber neuropathy is tricky because standard nerve tests like EMG and nerve conduction studies often miss it. In many cases, a skin biopsy is needed to count the actual number of nerve fibers if you've experienced odd pain sensations that defy explanation. This is one area to investigate quickly. The most serious and most feared is central nervous system involvement when Sjogren's reaches the brain and spinal cord. Here, inflammation can create lesions similar to those seen in multiple sclerosis. These lesions disrupt the flow of signals between different parts of the brain or between the brain and the rest of the body. The result can be vision changes, muscle weakness, speech difficulties, trouble walking, or sudden severe dizziness. In some cases, the inflammation affects the brain's blood vessels, a condition called vasculitis, which can cause strokes. This is why sudden neurological symptoms in someone with Sjogren's should always be treated as a medical emergency. The stakes are simply too high to ignore. Then there's autonomic neuropathy, which targets the nerves that control involuntary functions like heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, and sweating. When these nerves malfunction, you might feel dizzy or lightheaded when standing up, experience heart palpitations, have unpredictable digestion, or find yourself sweating less or more than normal. Because these symptoms can mimic other conditions, they're often overlooked, you know, off me, Yet, they may be a clear sign that Sjogren's is advancing. A rarer but very disabling complication is myelopathy, in which inflammation damages the spinal cord itself. This can cause muscle stiffness, weakness in the legs, numbness, and even loss of bladder or bowel control. Without immediate medical intervention, some of this damage can become permanent. With all these potential complications, the natural question is, how do you find out if you have neurological involvement before it's too late? The answer is thorough, targeted testing. Unfortunately, many people with Sjogren's are never offered these tests unless they insist. This is where self-advocacy becomes your lifeline. Ask your doctor about nerve conduction studies to measure how quickly and effectively signals move through your nerves. Request EMG testing to assess muscle response. If you're experiencing brain-related symptoms, push for an MRI of your brain and spinal cord to look for lesions or inflammation. For small fiber neuropathy, a skin biopsy can measure nerve fiber density. If you suspect autonomic involvement, specialized tests can monitor blood pressure, heart rate, and sweating responses. And remember, while blood tests for Sjogren's antibodies like SSA and SSB can confirm the autoimmune nature of the disease, some patients with neurological damage will test negative. That's why a negative antibody result does not close the case. Once you know what's happening, you can act and, uh, you can, I and she, then, and honestly, action is everything. While there's currently no cure for Sjogren's, you really do have powerful tools to slow progression, ease symptoms, and protect your brain and nerves for years to come. Medication is one part of the strategy. Doctors may prescribe disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs like hydroxychloroquine to calm the immune attack, low-dose steroids to control inflammation, or, you know, stronger immunosuppressants if nerve damage is severe. For neuropathic pain, medications that calm overactive nerve signals like gabapentin or duloxetine may be used. But lifestyle is just as important. And in many cases, it's honestly what determines whether the disease advances quickly or remains under control. So here's your step-by-step -step action plan for protecting your nervous system from Sjogren's damage. When are on, I chart to your Step one, fight inflammation daily. 
Your diet is one of your most powerful weapons. Fill your plate with anti-inflammatory foods, fatty fish like salmon or sardines for omega-3 fatty acids, colorful vegetables like broccoli, carrots, and leafy greens for antioxidants, and berries and cherries for compounds that protect brain cells. Avoid foods that fuel inflammation, such as processed meats, refined sugars, fried foods, and heavily processed snacks. Think of every meal as an opportunity to either feed the fire or put it out. Step two, protect your myelin. Myelin is the insulation around your nerves and without it, signals just can't travel efficiently. Nutrients like vitamin B12, folate, choline, and omega-3 fatty acids are critical for maintaining and repairing myelin. Eggs, leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish are excellent sources. If you're plant-based, you can use algae-based omega-3 supplements and fortified plant milks to cover these needs. Step three, keep blood flowing to your brain and nerves. Low impact exercise is key. Brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or even chair yoga if your mobility is limited. The goal is to get your heart pumping and your circulation moving without overstraining your body. Even 20 minutes a day can make a real difference in brain oxygenation and nutrient delivery. If you struggle with balance, use a cane, walking poles, or work with a physical therapist to practice safe movement. Step four, train your brain like a muscle. Engaging your mind keeps neural pathways active and builds what scientists call cognitive reserve. That's extra capacity that helps you function even if some pathways are damaged. Read books, solve puzzles, learn a new language or skill, or play memory games. Even small daily challenges for your brain add up over time. Step five, neutralize oxidative stress. Free radicals, those unstable molecules that cause cell damage, are produced in higher amounts during chronic inflammation. Antioxidants from fresh fruits, vegetables, green tea, and even a little dark chocolate can help neutralize them. Supplements like alpha lipoic acid, curcumin, and CoQ10 have also been shown to protect nerve cells and improve energy production within your cells. Step six, hydrate strategically. Dehydration can make neurological symptoms worse by thickening your blood and reducing circulation. Chagrin's patients are especially vulnerable due to dryness. Drink water consistently throughout the day and add herbal teas, electrolyte, rich broths, and hydrating fruits and vegetables to your routine. Avoid excessive caffeine and alcohol as both can dehydrate you further. Step seven, Manage stress like your health depends on it, because honestly, it does. Chronic stress spikes cortisol, which can trigger autoimmune flare-ups and, well, worsen inflammation. So try to build stress relief into your daily schedule, whether it's meditation, deep breathing, listening to calming music, or simply sitting outside for 10 minutes. The nervous system really thrives in a calm, balanced environment. Step eight is to track your symptoms and adjust your plan. Just keep a simple health journal, jotting down when symptoms show up, what you ate, your stress levels, and you know, how well you slept. Over time, patterns will start to emerge, helping you spot triggers and measure your progress. And hey, bring this record to your medical appointments. It's honestly one of the best tools you can have for guiding your treatment. When you commit to these steps, you're not just managing chagrins, you're actively defending your brain, your nerves, and your independence. And that independence, well, it's worth fighting for. Even though chagrins is a chronic disease, many people do live active, fulfilling lives by staying ahead of it. The difference between rapid decline and long-term stability often comes down to, you know, awareness and action. As we come to the close of this video, I want you to remember one crucial truth. Sjogren's is far more than a dryness condition. It's a systemic autoimmune disease with the potential to permanently alter the way your brain and nerves function. That makes it one of the most underestimated threats to long-term health, but also one of the most preventable sources of neurological disability if caught early. Every symptom matters. Every test matters. Every healthy choice matters. If this video opened your eyes to the hidden dangers of Sjogren's, don't keep it to yourself. Someone you know right now could be experiencing these symptoms without realizing the cause. Sharing this knowledge could be the push they need to get tested and start protecting their brain and nervous system. So, share this video, like it if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel for more life-saving health information, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Your health is in your hands. And when it comes to your nervous system, every day counts. Let's protect it together.